Hey beauties and bows, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle. So if that is the kind of content you are into, I would definitely encourage you to subscribe, share, like, hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And if you don't do so already, shame on you, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is customs underscore chic. And welcome to La Studio. Today is all about the limited edition Tabitha Brown slash Target collection and I am actually wearing one of the pieces so I am wearing the orange and green leopard shirt this is not only because I'm a rattler strike right um I actually really love these shorts so let's get into the video I picked up a couple of pieces this I mean, I want to say this is probably the biggest collection that I've seen Target bring together with an outside designer or someone who didn't really start off in the fashion industry, but, you know, transitioned into creating clothes for Target. This collection had 70 plus pieces. And if you go on Target's website, literally like right now, there's only 51 pieces left. Now, that doesn't mean that they are not available in your local Target, but they're definitely not available online. So hopefully when they came out yesterday, you were part of the first people that got in the goods. And let's talk about it. One of the things I loved about this collection, aside from the size inclusivity, is just how Tabitha Brown makes people feel in general. So for those of you who are not familiar, Tabitha Brown is a social media maven. She is a vegan, an actress, and she just has all of the feels, right? Talk about like feel good energy on a thousand all the time. If you are ever feeling down, you want to go to her anything. You want to go to her website, you want to go to her Instagram, all of her social media handles, and she will just make you feel really good. And she embraces, for me, what I think is the whole mantra of dress how you want to feel. It's obviously not every day that we wake up feeling our best, but that doesn't mean we can't dress our best. And then, you know, throughout the day, our clothing or our garments, our textiles, whatever word choice you want to use will bring you to that sense of, I don't know, um, calm, resolve, peace, joy, happiness. Um, so I really enjoyed this little free tablet. It, was a, no, it wasn't a tablet. It was a free booklet that came along with the connection. And it just had like cute little quotes from Tabitha and I guess some of her family members um, and just some inspiration or maybe ideas as to why she created some of these pieces. I'm moving back because I feel like my light isn't adjusting the way it should. So it's adjusting now. So I will just project my voice so that you guys can still hear me. Uh, but I really enjoy this little tablet. There's even a crossword puzzle in there, but all of the things it's super fun um, Again, not all of the local targets have some of the same things some of my content creator friends shopped the Tabitha Brown um, limited collection in Target in New York City and from what I understand they had a wider selection Are we really surprised? No, because at the end of the day it is New York so I picked up four bathing suits and three actual like clothing pieces this collection on the onset gave me um beachwear there were you know accessories ranging from earrings to pins um hats purses clutches most of them were like in a straw design because that is just you know, it was, it just seemed like it was beachwear to me. Um, it gave me a Farm Rio vibe. For those of you who are not familiar, Farm Rio is a Brazilian based brand that does a lot of bold prints, a lot of bold patterns, a lot of bold color, and are very bold in just the way they um, execute fashion pieces. So it was like a mixture of those two. And then I could see how you can use some of the pieces for resort with. Specifically the piece that I have on right now. So like I said, this is the green and orange linen shorts i want to call it a bermuda short but not really i love it because it has the pleats in the front it actually has it actually has pockets in the back um pardon my bra but in the back it has a little bit of stretch here so that way it allows you to get more bang for your buck or it allows more people to fit into a particular size now i purchased a medium and these shorts were actually 25 dollars. and i will say this about her price points the only things that were over 30 or 35 dollars were the bathing suits and obviously i'm assuming because of the material such as lycra that's needed to create those pieces but most of her dresses or her pants or tops were between that 15 to 35 dollar mark so fairly inexpensive for target actually maybe more expensive for target but fairly inexpensive for a designer collaboration within target if that makes sense so the pieces were readily available 
actually that's not true when I got there it was a bunch of like extra smalls or like four X's left I actually had to stalk the guy in the fitting room to go back to the stock room to get me the pieces I needed so um, I initially tried this on in a size large and they were just way too baggy and it just was a lot so I preferred the medium because linen does stretch over a span of time so you kind of have to take care of it as you're wearing it you probably need to get it Mm, dry cleaned <laughs> if you want to wear these time because otherwise it's going to lose its form and you'll lose its shape i love this is my preferred style and fit of short i like a short that is not too tight you know then you start getting that pulling in the crotch area or you just get like no no for me i like my shorts to be you know hugging my shape but not necessarily giving it all away so I really really enjoy these I got these in a size medium these were $25 and they're still available on the Target website I literally just checked before I got um before I started this video so let's move on to the next item next piece that I have on is the women's stripe color bathing suit it is a one piece I love this thing. It actually comes, again, that same size run, X, X, extra, extra small to a 4X. And I got the large just because I wanted to give room for the girls. Y'all, look at the back of this bathing suit. We love, we love. It is a classic French cut, like super accommodating. I'm not going to like take it all off because I don't model bathing suits but it is very forgiving here in the stomach area it fits really well it is very comfortable it doesn't have like it has like cupping here on the side so you can get that nice separated look for your boobs but it is super comfortable it was $40 I know that seems kind of expensive for a bathing suit out of Target just because they have you know separates that you can purchase for like $10 $15 you catch them on a good sale you could probably get a whole entire bathing suit for 20 but you just never really know I am thoroughly enjoying this I like that the straps are super thick right so that means that they are going to support you um the straps in the back are adjustable which is great um what I talked about before was that this was actually sort of like a beach wear collection but I do enjoy the fact that you can mix the pieces and remix the pieces and actually make it work for resort wear what do I mean so let's say you're on vacation you're at a resort and you have on this bathing suit right so you're like I'm not exactly sure what cover up I can wear I want to run inside and either use the bathroom or the kids are hungry and now I need to take them inside and get something to eat well, you can just throw on a pair of jeans like I did here. I got these jeans from um, Walmart. This is actually part of the Scoop collection. I'll put them down in the description box below. But you can just throw this on and it's literally an outfit. Even if you wanted to wear this, you just kind of walk around the streets of Cartagena, right? Or, you know, Cancun or wherever you're going. This is totally doable. Even if you really wanted to wear this as like a piece underneath, let's say like a blazer, no one would be none the wiser. Yes, it's Lycra, but how many tops do we see around these days that people are using their swimwear as parts of their outfit? So this is completely doable. I love this piece. It's very comfortable. I'm really, really excited and I'm really, really happy with the way she did the size inclus inclusivity, like I said. But the comfort also is there. Um, the stretch is there. It's the right amount of Lycra. You feel good. I love all of these colors. Even though I'm already a colorful person, you can tell. <laughs> by everything that's going on here. It doesn't feel like va va boom, it doesn't feel like too much. It feels fun, right? Like this is highly spirited. Even if you were in a bad mood, once you put this on, like how could you not feel good? It's almost impossible. Bathing suit number two, let's talk about it. So this is the floral front cutout bathing suit. Um, it is that same French feel. It is a classic feel here in the tummy. The back is a cheeky cut. For those of you who are familiar with like Victoria's Secret um, underwear, cheeky is kind of, you still have a little bit of cheek showing in the back, right? It's not a complete thong and it's not a complete full brief underwear style. I got this in a size large. This was also $40. What I'm thinking is I probably should have gotten a medium, uh, an extra large because I feel like 
there's boobs coming out here right like there's under boob I don't love that I think if you are smaller than in, in terms of like the bust area then you can wear your proper size I typically go up in sizes and bathing suits because I'm trying to accommodate for my bust area now this still has a lot of cleavage here in the front I get it it's a bathing suit but because it is an area that I'm super um, self-conscious about I try to have as much covered as possible and then just give a little bit fun you know pieces um or flashes of skin or flesh in other areas so i wouldn't normally or necessarily like it here i feel like this area is showing much more than i'm comfortable showing even though i'm here on al gore's internet showing it to y'all but you understand right like if this was a little bit if i had more fabric here i would feel much more comfortable especially because it's sort of coming out on the side and it's coming out on the bottom Nothing to do with construction, nothing to do with craftsmanship, nothing to do with how well this product is done. This is purely a review for this piece on sizing and how I feel in it. Um, so it is true to size, but that just lets me know that I should have gotten an extra large and then probably just had everything else taken in on the sides um if i wanted to fit and if i wanted this to be a bathing suit that i keep i was really excited about this one i really was i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna turn over and look in the mirror and um i have on these linen shorts from h m just because i want to continue talking about that concept of making beachwear or turning beachwear into resort wear now this is a little weird just because the cutouts are here so if it was that same full piece one piece bathing suit this might look a little better um or if you know, my also take into consideration my torso is short. So if I had more here to show, I think the the breast to um, waist proportions would probably show a little bit better. I'm not body shaming myself. I'm just trying to explain why a pair of shorts may not necessarily work for this look if you want to turn the beach wear into resort wear, which is again, you're outside, you're by the beach, and then all of a sudden you're like, oops, I gotta go inside. So this needs to be a transitional piece. Um, so that wouldn't really work for that, I think, because of the cutout and just the proportions here. But you know what? This is your world, squirrel. Like, whatever you want to do, do it. Also, I will be remiss if I don't tell you guys that I'm actually wearing a pair of earrings from the Tabitha Brown and Target collection. These earrings came in this very beautiful cobalt blue and also an orange. They were $15. And I just really like, like... I mean, they're super easy. They're super fun. This is your typical like beachwear, you know, earring. I would definitely wear a pair of earrings like this if I was going to the beach. Um, inexpensive. Obviously, hopefully you don't lose them, but they complete the look, right? There's blue here. There's blue in the bathing suit and they can be mixed within the other pieces in her collection. Bathing suit. <laughs> I know you're probably asking yourself like why is this girl holding on to her boobs like this because if I do they are going to fall um this is the one piece camo bathing suit in blue this is a size large and it it's strapless and I was so excited because I saw that the size run for these went up to like an 18 or 24 W which is a very big size run but the girls aren't sitting because of sheer weight <laughs> i understand luckily they do come with, with a single strap which is great but i try to avoid all single strap bathing suits because you've done this right you've been at the pool you're having fun all of the things and the next thing you know you're like massaging the back of your neck because it's too tight if you don't know what i'm talking about i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i know plenty of people so i'm holding on to these um, because I want to show you guys the structure of the bathing suit. So this is another one, same French classic cut, high over the hip, cheeky in the back, and then it has this really fun like belt in the middle. And I just put these um, Palazzo blue pants on so that you guys can see how you switch or how you incorporate beachwear into resort wear. You throw on something that's a little bit more fancy so that you can transition it from outside to inside without a single step, without missing a single step, right? $40 was this bathing suit. Um, the back, let's see the back. Super cute, right? Um, all of the things, it comes with a super cute waist um, belt and I love it, but it just doesn't sit like I wanted to, which is not, again, due to construction. This is more so sizing. This is more so weight of the boobies. Um, So if you still love this look, you can certainly get it with and wear it with the strap um if i wore the pants i may lose the belt altogether. that way it just looks like 
let's see the belt is attached so because i'm still going back and forth about whether or not i'm going to keep this i'm not going to you know pop these off that would be very indecent of me um because i think the belt here and then the waistband here that's a lot of activity going on i mean it could still be cute let's see i'm looking in the mirror you know it's not the worst thing in the world maybe if i let's see i was trying like i tucked in okay so i tucked in the waistband so it's not as like harsh or a stark difference right it just kind of seems like it flows into the blue that makes it look a lot better or at least part of the bathing suit than if i have this pop of blue here obviously these pieces are sold separately they're not even part of the same collection i bought these from pretty little things <laughs> i'll put it down in the description box if they're still available um and i still have on the same blue earrings from the Tab tabitha brown collection with um target so that's what i was talking about as well that all of her pieces you can use mix remix within and throughout the collection she had a ton of straw bags she had towels handheld clutches all of the things to like make you feel super cute and fun at the beach again i think her collection was um an inspiration to dress how you want to feel please hold now that we're back again i was saying that i feel like her collection was an invitation to dress how you feel and um this certainly makes me feel happy. I already love color, so by default, I'm biased. But I'm going to now go to the last two pieces and probably my favorite two that I picked up from the collection. I haven't tried them on yet, so this will be a reveal for all of us. This is my all-time favorite. This is La Pièce or Les Pièces de Résistance. These are the two pieces from the collection that I was most excited about. Only because y'all know I love a good set. <laughs> y'all know I love color. You guys know I love print. So when I saw this, I was like... I have to have these. I actually got both of these pieces in a size extra large. And honestly, I think I really need a large. Um, there's a lot more uh, space in the bust area than I would like. I feel like I need a loop. I need something that's a little tighter so that it could lift the bust up a little bit bigger. And then the pants are, they have quite a lot of room here in the back, even with that. Um, let's, let me show you guys. I hope hopefully you guys can see this. Even with that, like stretching in the back they're just a smidget too big and i feel like i want them to be just a little smaller around the waist so that i can have like a better cinched in look and then it can flow on the bottom like it's really intended to um let me move back so that you guys can see the actual look now i am 5 8 and these pants hit just literally like literally just like right at the top of my foot i like my pants to be dragging so that is more so a preference thing than it is a design thing stunning absolutely stunning for the amount that you paid for this it's so good it's so rich it's giving me again farm rio it's giving me you know resort vibes because you can totally wear this you know to breakfast when you go to a resort you can wear this to the beach if you wanted to take these off and you're good to go now this particular print came with a variety of pieces there's actually a button down that comes with this there is another sort of like ruching crop top that comes with this it comes with a bathing suit bottom aside from these pants these pants are more so like a cover-up but this right here to me is an outfit <laughs> it's, it's a whole vibe like it's an entire outfit and then again i paired it with the um blue earrings that i got from tab the brown like this it's, it's exceptional i am so happy with this again with the exception of the sizing things that i said i'm gonna go back <laughs> and get my proper size now that i know what it is i didn't try any of this stuff on in the store just because i was like who has time for that not me um it has pockets i love that i love a good pocket listen even if i wanted to like throw on let me see let me do something very quickly okay so very quickly what i did was i just took a men's oversized shirt i opened it all the way up i popped that collar i tucked the men's shirt underneath the you know kind of rustle and bustle that i have going on here just so that it, it doesn't show and there you go just that quickly you've elevated the look you can wear this down the street in i don't know mallorca <laughs> you know whatever beach town or beach city that you have that you like nice the south of france anywhere that you want and it's an elevated look again um i'm going to go back to the store and pick up a large in the top because i again i think it's going to lift the boobies right to where they need to be because right now they're kind of hanging sweet low sweet chariot and that it is not a good look but 
So even if you weren't bold enough or if you didn't want to like show all of this, you can still wear a men's white button down, an oversized white button down, and it still gives resort wear. So I give this collection a 10 out of 10 because I think Tabitha surprised us. She gave us color, she gave us fun, she gave us energy in her pieces. And they were originally like they seem like all beach wear but you can convert them to resort wear and if you know your girl you know i live for resort wear everywhere anywhere twice on sunday um and i really enjoyed it i mean again the pieces were really affordable very chic very comfortable very fun size inclusive that's super important you always want to make sure that you have a wide range of sizes so that you can reach a better audience literally everyone every single person walking on this earth should be able to fit everything <laughs> because you know why because you make more money doing it you make more money doing it that way so kudos to you miss tabitha brown i am signing off with my last piece if you stuck around this long, you definitely know what to do. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. Again, I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Love ya.